Pick the Nintendo Shack and pray. Frederick from Fire Emblem Awakening says, yo. And some like some cinnamon in it. You're not a fan of that. No. Let me ask you, Caroline. Are you a fan of Nintendo Directs? I'm a fan of Nintendo Directs. Did you start already? We're live. We've been live. This Jack is back. Hello, boys hey, and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Mario's and Luigi's. My name is Donnie Reese, and I am joined by my Nintendo sis, Caroline. How are you? What's up, everybody? Time to game with a dame. That's right. You didn't greetings, Koopalings. Let's do it. Greetings, greetings Koopalings. Koopalings. Pneumonia Donnie is here. Bless his heart. Hmm. No rest for the wicked, right? Yeah, well, apparently I'm not wicked, so let's preface this by saying <laughs> Stealth on uh, on Ooh, Twitter earlier yeah. today, he, he, sends this, he sends this tweet out. He says, if you, if you have pure heart and you pray to your Lord Miyamoto what you most deeply want for this Nintendo Direct to uh, come out, will come out. And uh, I just responded back to it, and I said, Animal Crossing. Spoilers. And he, said, he said, are you pure of heart? And I said, nope. Not, not even close. <laughs> and Donnie says, well, at least she's honest. At least she's honest. All right. So uh, I guess I'm, I guess, but you said no rest for the wicked. Apparently, I'm not wicked at all. Mm, spoilers. We'll see about that. Um, as I adjust all the wires and everything in front of me. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do have pneumonia. Clinically diagnosed pneumonia. So, um, if I cough, I apologize. Um, I'll try to limit that as much as possible. But with us being a two-person show, I can go ahead and guarantee that that probably won't be the case. So, um, just bear with us, and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. As Caroline already alluded to, today we had Nintendo's Direct. That Direct that was been delayed finally came. Caroline and I streamed our live reactions. And um, we're going to break down all the news here. So, uh, there's a lot to get through. It's been a long time since we've had a direct that had pages of notes. We <laughs> pages. Have pages of notes. How many? Let me count. Let me count. Like a six, good three. Six. Well, there's some of that stuff that I okay. Have there's done. There, yeah. I, I see. I see. So we're we're it bleeds into four. Yeah, yeah. It's like three and a half. Is a good. Yeah, there's a good amount here. So, um, we're going to cover these in the release order that you can expect to get your hands on these games. I also think it's probably the best way to have this conversation because we can get a lot of the... I don't want to demean anything. We can get a lot of the stuff out of the way early and yeah. save our main course for the end. So let's go ahead Absolutely. and start with 3DS. 3DS was included in the Direct. We knew it was going to be there. They've been uh, telling us that we, we were going to have 3DS games, and we do. Yokai Watch Blasters is available now. They're getting an mm -hmm. update with new missions and areas to explore September 27th. They showed us Luigi's Mansion again. Uh, this time they mentioned that there's a co-op play, but each player has to have their own copy of the game. Which is kind of lame. It is kind of lame, considering that it's an old game, and it's a port of an old game. I mean, yeah, I, I, I have always enjoyed download play on 3DS. I think it's an underutilized, underappreciated feature. And uh, I was really excited for Luigi when I saw this until they said that. Now, there yeah. is download play. You can fight bosses download play. Um which is not as fun. I would rather play the game with my yeah. son and my daughter. Same. Um, compatible Amiibo show you where the booze are. Kind of makes it a little mm -hmm. easy. And then uh, it comes out October 12th. Yay! Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story, the game that I feel like I've been hearing about for a year. It's God. Uh, when did it? I think it got announced early in the April Direct or something. Yeah, and it's, been, and it's still not out, and it won't be out until next year, January 11th, mm -hmm. 2019. We have to remember, we just recently got the Mario and Luigi, um, what's the other 3DS port that we just got? The first one, Superstar Saga. Mm -hmm. You know, it just came out this summer. So I think it makes sense that they're, yeah, that's a, probably a good six or seven months that's between. True. So I, I think it's I think it's warranted that they, they take those breaks in between. The big surprise is that Kirby's Epic Yarn the Wii games. Ex extra epic yarn. Extra epic yarn is coming extra over to Nintendo 3DS, and you can craft bigger yarn balls. You can uh, summon beads. There's two new modes featuring King DDD and Meta Knight, and it comes out next year, 2019. So we yep. already have, um, I mean, if, you, if we weren't already counting Mario and Luigi, we already have our first uh, 
our first example of Nintendo continuing to support the 3DS into 2019. So the little system still that be, could is still, still, be more ports. still not still. dead. Still not dead. Nope. But uh, that's not what anybody here for. Kevin doesn't hear about 3DS games. So let's move on <laughs> to uh, to the system system du jour. That Nintendo Switch. Let's the big start, boy. Let's start in 2018. Let's start today. City mm-hmm. Skylines is out now. Looks out terrible. now on your, on your Nintendo Switch. What, what was that? It looks terrible. That game looked atrocious on the Direct. Bad. I mean, like, Ten it, how many frame rates? Yeah. yeah. It's like, like GoldenEye oh 007 or something. Yeah, it looked like early, uh, not early, but like Windows XP <laughs> CD-ROM <laughs> games, okay? Like, that bad. But it, it's out now if you want to play it. <laughs> um, Splatoon I'll stick to my 2. SimCity. Yeah, Splatoon 2 is getting uh, an update, still. Version 4 update, starting tonight, the first set of weapons from the Kinsa collection. Um, These weapons are painted with stylish, monotone designs. Mm -hmm. And then in early October, version 4.1 will come, and it'll bring a new stage, new songs, and more Kinsa collection weapons. I think they look pretty cool. That was an anime-style opening, though. I mean, like, to a T, it's like staring off into the distance with the credits next to him and stuff. And they even put like the fake in the Splatoon language or whatever they use. I don't, is there a name for that language? Inklingese? Inklingese. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I mean like they had the, the sponsors at the end, like flash up like they do at the end of an anime opening. I, just, I thought it was hilarious. I didn't. I, I actually, I mean, you're underwhelmed? I was underwhelmed. I could live without this. Now, this could be... I was actually saving this when we thought we weren't going to have a direct. We were going to talk about this. I might be done with Splatoon. Really? Like I See, played... I, haven't, I haven't picked it up since I started like going into the Octo expansion, and it was hard, and it's still hard, but I think I just haven't gone back to it because there's so much other stuff that's come out. I played the last Splatfest, and me and the kids were just kind of bored. It was the first one we didn't play for a while. We played it for maybe like 35 minutes and we were like, are you done? Like, yeah, we're kind of done. We just played a lot of it. Yeah. I, 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 I maxed everything out on the Wii U. So I think if Splatoon 2 were coming like this year or next year, I might have picked it up and played a little bit more of it. But because it came within two years of its predecessor, I think I was, because I was playing it right up until the Switch's launch, you know? Yeah, yeah that might be something. And the Octo thing, I mean, you're right, it's hard. And I was really looking forward to it, and I tried, and it was just too hard for me. So I, Yeah, like, it's really difficult. If that wasn't so hard, I probably would have played it more. Um, they showed more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, The Golden Country. Um, comes, to Nintendo, uh, comes to Switch September 21st, out now for... Uh, Physical. Yeah, out Physical. tomorrow for those of tomorrow. you that own the expansion pass. Or today, if you're listening. Correct. Uh, and you're not watching live. Um, it's out on the 14th. Now... And, um, Let's get into some really. Let's get into some meat. We've we've talked about Xenoblade. We'll talk about Xenoblade next week. I'm gonna keep talking over. That's fine. I was just gonna say <laughs> that that's something that I'm not gonna be streaming. Believe it or not. Really? Why not? My husband Brian Brian and I went through the Xenoblade Two experience together, and Brian is not available when I'm doing my streams. Oh, gotcha. And I wanted to experience that with him because we both know it. Also because. The whole game is basically a spoiler if you haven't played the the, the actual game and this not just the expansion. So it's all the backstory. Um, I kind of want people to experience the game for themselves. I, I want to turn more people onto the game as opposed to uh, just spoiling everything for them. Nintendo detailed somewhat, kind of, the Nintendo Switch online service, which launches in four days from today, September mm-hmm. 18th. And they covered that you'll need it to play online. For save data, cloud backup, NES games um, that have online play added to them, special offers, and the smartphone app. Um, special offers. Special offers. A free seven-day trial is included. They showed off some snazzy new controllers, NES oh Joy-Cons God. that you can snap onto your Nintendo Switch and play with the same NES gamepad that you enjoyed in the early 90s. You That's buy pre-order them. for me. A pack of two for sixty dollars. Pre-order. Interesting. Shipping on those controllers doesn't begin until mid-December, and they're membership exclusive. 
<laughs> I didn't hear that. You Was have that to in- be a Nintendo online Switch person member, and you have to order from their store to get them. And pre-order doesn't go live until the uh, family plans and that stuff rolls out on September 18th. Wow. Isn't that interesting? I mean, part kinda of Kind of Club Nintendo-ish, but... Kind of. But not, oh. but not in a good way, like in a bad way. No, like you would no. Want I was hoping, I was hoping to get the twenty percent off on Best Buy, but that makes me think they're going to be limited. Ooh, dude, don't even go there with me. I they're going to be get super it. limited. And that's why it. Nintendo's controlling production and distribution, or maybe they're just trying to. I mean, I think they're maybe taking the approach that the only people that want them are the people that are going to sign up for the Switch Online service for these games, these NES games. That too. So I, I can see that it's weird. Um, I'll say that it's weird. I thought that was But it's cheaper than a too. pair of actual Joy-Cons. An actual yeah, but it's not Joy-Con a Joy-Con. You, you said know, that but, on the live but stream, thinking, but it's not a Joy-Con. You're, you're, getting, you're getting two NES controllers that are compatible with the Switch. Yeah, but it's just which a I think is, and two buttons. Yeah, but... There's no triggers, there, no, there's no there's, motion no, control. No, there's, I think there's the L and R ones where you slide in. Mm, I don't think so. You know, how, you know how you tilt it onto the side? I'm pretty sure I saw that little bitty small L and R's. Okay. I don't, I don't think so, but you might be right. Here's my thing. Why would you pay $60 to play with these when you can just play with the Joy-Con? It's a novelty, dude. I mean, I Don't get you want to have two S or two NES controllers? I do. I, I do. SNES. Math, Math Man is here. He says, does that mean they would have had a set of SNES controllers if they had the ad games from that era or are they limiting themselves to just NES games? I think they're just saving it. Yeah. Saving it, yeah, yeah for SNES sure. is going to come. That's going to come next year, and they're just yeah. saving it. So let's talk about the games. The September 18th is going to launch with 20 games. Soccer, Tennis, Donkey Kong, Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros., Balloon Fight, Ice Climber, Dr. Mario, Legend of Zelda, Super Mario 3, Double Dragon, R- River City Ransom, Ghost and Goblins, Tech Mobile, Gradius, Pro Wrestling, Excite Bike, Yoshi, Ice Hockey, and Baseball. This is the first time Pro Wrestling has been released, I believe. And uh, all these games come over. I mean, Where is Super Mario 2? It's basically an NES classic on your Switch. It's basically yeah, what you're signing up for. You've got Ma- Mario the Arcade, Super Mario, Super Mario 3. Where's my Mario 2? I don't know. I pulled this list from um, one of the blogs that put it up. I think this one came directly <gasps> from CNET, so maybe it's not there or maybe I'm missing it. Keep going. Keep going. I, I want to freak out about the December so, one. Those are the games that come in September. In October, Solomon's Key, NES Open Tournament Golf, Super Dodgeball. November Great. gets Metroid, Mighty Bomb Jack, Twin B. In December gets Warriors Woods, Ninja Gaiden, Adventures of Lolo. Adventures of Lolo is such a good game. So, How laboratory, dude. Before right. they did Kirby. So let's talk. You, 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 I know you're a collector, but I want you to set aside mm-hmm. your, your desire to have everything. Are you seriously going to buy one of these NES controllers to play one of these NES games in like in seriousness, not in like novelty for a weekend? Like you're legit going to play this game? They showed co-op, so yeah, Brian and I would play. Okay, okay, yeah, like I'm just they, holding. They, I'm just. I'm, and this didn't they say there's online co-op too? In some games, you'll be able to play online. They didn't detail so like Dr. Order, Mario but, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And Brian I do, and I yeah, play. you'll be able to. There'll be like some leaderboards. I do believe they confirmed you can co-op Mario Bros. I think online together. So okay. I'm in the novelty section here. Like, this is something I'll try, maybe, for like mm-hmm. a weekend. Like, I may boot up Mario with Kevin or Jason or you. I'm not really going to play these a lot. I, I mean, can't, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I bought two NES controllers. For, I brought an extra controller for the Classic just because I knew that I was going to have somebody that wanted to play co op with me. So, and you have the Classic. So, like, why would, would you know, play on the Switch versus the Classic? Adventures of Lolo is not on the Classic. That's true. There's, there's a, a couple lot of stuff, stuff coming, but like Double Dragon. The um, only games that I would play here are the Mario games, Double Dragon. I'll mess around with Pro Wrestling, maybe. Probably not. Those are really bad. Tech Mobile. The original Zelda. I'll play Tech Mobile. I will play Tech, Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile's good. Um, I won't play the original Zelda. I'm not a big fan. NES player. Open Tournament Golf is a great golf game, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, I like uh, that one almost as good as the original golf. Dr. Mario. My, you know, my wife likes Dr. Mario, but I, I still don't think we'd play it. Like, we have Puyo Tetris. Like, I, they're just better. I don't know. I have better things to do. So mm. I'm not uh, I'm not kind of over the moon about this. Let's go ahead and talk about the fact that they said special offers and then didn't list any. They just said, hey, you're going to pay us this money for this. We're going to give you access to some NES games. You can give us more money for these controllers. And uh, you can use your phone to call people, which your phone already does. 
and uh, you get you get special offers. They didn't say what maybe it was. special offers is a discount on those controllers. If it's, you know you're just a Nintendo it's not member, be a discount on the controllers. <laughs> I mean, I would hope that it's at least better than the my Nintendo rewards, where I get thirty yeah. percent off on my birthday or something of a full retail game. You Oop know, the, n- Nintendo should do better with their digital offerings in terms of sales. Right. I, I firmly believe that. I don't, I don't feel like that's me hating Nintendo or, or giving them, you know, anything that they don't deserve. They're way behind in that mar- in that regard, and there's not like yeah. a lot of great deals out there. You know, they're like, you know, get you know this brand new game for sixty bucks. Oh, it's on sale for fifty four dollars. Like that's not a sale. So yeah. I was a little let down. I wanted more. I wanted more from that service. And uh, to be honest with I you, I think I think we'll get stuff eventually. It's just right now they're just opening the doors. Yeah, it's like in like, beta. I mean, we're going to get it anyway. We have a family plan. We're splitting it up. It's not that much. I'm not worried about it. We want to play online. I want to play Overcooked. Like, you want to play Overcooked. We're going to play Cart. We got Drunk Nights. Like, I'm not worried about is it worth it or not. Um, But I got to say, I don't think they're doing a whole lot right here to earn that $20. You know, it's just, yeah, it's just kind of, yeah, we'll see. When I'm sure when the rest of Virtual Console rolls out, eventually, over time, the service will become worth it. Yeah. Um, Capcom came out with an interesting thing. The Beat-Em-Up Bundle. September 18th, which it said in the Direct, which has been confirmed because it's coming to other consoles. Interesting, though, right after the Direct, Nintendo of America tweeted out and they said that it was coming this winter, which I'm yeah. completely confused about. I'm wondering if maybe it's digital September 18th and a physical version. No, um, I've seen, I think I was watching Joe after work and he actually had the thing downloaded on his Switch already. It was very weird, that tweet that they sent out. But um, what you're getting is a bunch of beat-em-ups. Final Fight, Captain Commando, Knights of the Round, Armored Warriors, Battle Circuit, Warriors of Fate, and the King of Dragons. And two of those games have never been released before. I'm not sure which ones. Um, they're all, you know, kind of Streets of Rage-ish, but they're not Streets of Rage. But you get all of them for 20 bucks. So if you're looking for, you know, some some game, there's a collection for $20. Mm-hmm. I love collections, so that's cool. It's neat. Something. Still want Streets of Rage. Mario Tennis Aces. Gets a 2.0 update on September 19th. You get to play co-op missions with your friends for special outfits and color schemes. And new playable characters, Birdo, Shy Guy, Koopa, Paratroopa, and PD Piranha. I can't believe they weren't included originally as roster characters. I feel awful because we we have a Nintendo podcast and I'm going to sit here and say I don't care about aces. <laughs> and I feel bad about saying that because we're supposed to love everything Nintendo, but I did not like the demo for aces and I have no desire to keep playing it. So. I, see, I just never played the demo and... I think it was because the last game I really enjoyed that was a tennis game was Power Tennis for the GameCube. And Ultra Smash did me wrong. Um, and this one is just kind of a... I was expecting I more from the solo campaign and all the reviews were like, it's not. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was expecting a lot more and it, it's just not there. Um, now, now I'll, I will say this. If you're a competitive player, Aces is dope. I've seen really competitive yeah. matches. That's great. I'm not. I'm just, that's, that's not my itch. Uh, Mega Man 11, which has the demo out, which we talked about last week, comes out October 2nd. Uh, you can unlock um, resources for Mega Man using your Amiibo or the Amiibo edition. Super Mario Party launches October 5th. Now you're getting me excited. Mm-hmm. Soundstage mode. Up to four players can shake a Joy-Con in rhythm-based gameplay. River survival mode. First four-player co-op. There's 80 new mini games, a single-player challenge road, and the minigame gauntlet online marathon. Mario-thon. Oh, Mario-thon. Mario-thon, sorry. So we get all of this stuff in Mario Party, and I think you and me are the only people getting Mario Party. I I, I don't know if I'm getting it day oh, one. I'm going to be the only person getting Mario. How am I the only person getting Mario Party? I want Because there's so much other stuff that I haven't played yet. Mario Party um, really No, bad. but seriously, I do want to get it, because Brian loves Mario Party, and I do too, and my sister and I have always played Mario Party. And uh, it would be We've already mentioned it to her, like, come over to the apartment so we can play Mario Party again. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll get it. I just don't know if it's going to be a day one purchase. Because sure. Luigi's Mansion is coming out the next week. Yep. And, and he's got Torna just, and all the, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just yeah, the season. I'll have Torna be by then. I'm excited for Mario Party because the kids and I haven't been playing Switch together a whole lot lately. And that'll be one that gets us back in. And we love the Mario Party games. And, and I like right. the rhythm based and the motion controls and shaking all that. And I want to do the online co-op stuff. Like I'm hoping it's like, you know, cook mama or not cook. Yeah. Cook mama, like the fry pan stuff. My daughter's yeah. going to love that stuff. So I'm down. Um, 
in foreshadowing of what's to come, The Ends World With You, October 12th. Forgot about that one. So that's another RPG for you to get into. Lego DC Super Villains comes out October 16th. Same day as Starlink, the Battle of Ax- uh, Atlas, which comes with uh, they meant, you know the trailer today showed off a wolf. So there's uh, Star, Fakes, Star, Star Fox based missions in Starlink Battle for Atlas, where you will face Wolf and his team. And I, but the way that I saw that, it seemed like they were setting up Wolf to be a playable character. Maybe my son took that too. Like that's where he maybe went. he, he like, can be unlocked or something. Why is anybody buying this game anywhere else but Switch? And, like, what and what does that game look like on PlayStation 4? Do like so so and what I'm getting at, there's a campaign for this game, right? So you start as a pilot and then you mm-hmm. go to the end where you, I don't know, defeat everybody or whatever. You accomplish your goal. On yeah. the Switch version, somewhere in there, you run into Star Fox and do a bunch of Star Fox missions. What does that look like on another console? Do you just skip that part? I don't think they have it. Is I, it, I, but is it, is it like you, a side? Don't you remember don't you remember Ubisoft said that they no, but I, he was just in the Switch version. No, no, I know that. But what I'm saying is uh-huh. on the PlayStation version, like, is oh. it, like, yeah, how does that work? Like, there's just content that's just not there. They probably just, just put gone. in another, another random character. Like a random mission? Is it the same? I guess what I'm trying to say, do you have the same missions without the Fox characters? Or is the Fox thing like a complete sidebar away from the Atlas stuff? It's weird. Like, I, I don't, I yeah. can't. I see what you mean. I can't remember a game that wasn't exclusive, but had a ton. I'm assuming a ton. Maybe I'm assuming a it's lot. Like I think they said you could play the entire thing as, as Fox, yeah. right? So it's like, yeah, you can. Is what they said. <laughs> There's just like a giant portion of this game missing if you buy it anywhere else. It's weird. That's a weird thing. Plus, you missed out on that sweet R wing that I'm still on the fence about. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm just getting it for Christmas. I'm definitely getting it. It's going on the Christmas tree. It's gonna be a perfect present. <laughs> um, Nintendo Switch. Getting a, a new special edition, one of two special editions that was announced today. Why launching is this coming? Why is this coming out a full month in advance? Launching November second at the price of three hundred and fifty nine ninety nine, the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Switch set. Which this has been actually yeah. circulating for about a couple weeks. A lot of people thought it was fake. I've actually seen a picture of this box before. So yeah, the, the dock, I did too. The dock has the Smash characters on either side, all black and white. The Joy Cons are gray with just the Smash cross across both of them. Um, it's just very much a, a monotone gray and white console. I think that the dock is lazy. Mm. I think it's lazy. Tell me more. It's like, oh, well, let's just put, let's take our art, grayscale it, and just put the r- original eight on there. Yeah, people will buy it. I'm, it just seems lazy. Like, I'm I mean, there's no design. with you. You're agreeing or yeah. disagreeing? No, I, I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with you. It, it's, well, I mean, we didn't see any pretty. back any backside to the actual tablet, you know, like at least with the Pikachu and Eevee one, there's like relief where there's showing uh, the P- the Pokemon on there. Yeah. Um, and it, I don't know. It just, it feels, the Joy-Cons feel lazy. They just, who cares? Um, it's not one that I would buy. Math man, they are not hinting at a new release date for Switch. Actually, the bundle says in the fine print, game code won't unlock until December 7th. That's why I'm like, why are you guys releasing? I mean, I guess for people that want to get a jump on the Christmas shopping Black and maybe Friday. They're- Black Friday. Yep. There's be a bunch it. of people buying Christmas stuff on Black Friday and they want you to have the option to go ahead and put it under the thing. And you know, these special edition consoles are going to be hard to find. And uh, the way I, I don't know how they're going to do it. But you remember in the early days of 3DS, like they kind of do a run and then they just stop and they move on to new consoles. They haven't been doing that lately with the new runs. Like the new runs mm-hmm. on the 2DS are just kind of present. They're everywhere. Right. Um, but some of those older ones are really hard to find. You're not going to find them anymore. It's not like they just keep no, printing like them. The they original just stop. Fire Emblem Awakening yep, one. Exactly. So I think that's why. Um, also coming out that day, November 2nd, Diablo 3. That's good. You know, we talked about that last week. That day, it's better than being smashed in there, uh, being sandwiched in there with Smash. So I'm getting Diablo. <laughs> And uh, hopefully I talked Brian into getting Diablo, and he can come play with me and Jason. He seemed interested in it. He seemed interested. He looks good. Now let's talk. Pokemon Let's Go. Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, coming November 16th. And it also is getting a limited edition console. Surprise! Shocker! They're going to put Pokemon stuff on top of Nintendo Switches. Um, This one, though, is $400. Because it comes with a Pokeball Plus. You get a Nintendo Switch, the dock has a very cute 
decal, or not decal, it's, uh, it's printed on there, but a very cute illustration of Pikachu and Eevee on both sides. And uh, you've got an Eevee brown and a Pikachu yellow Joy-Con with alternating color uh, straps. <sighs> and the back of the Switch has this beautiful back plate with all these different Pokemon shadows across the back. And you get I thought it was just Pikachu and Eevee ones that are just like in different poses. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And then you get uh you get the game, let's go Pikachu Eevee and you get a Pokéball. Mm-hmm. So you get all of it for $400. Caroline, I am getting one. I know you are and I'm, I'm so jealous excited. because I just want the Joy-Cons. Like originally I was like the brown and the yellow are too People similar. don't like them. They don't bother. But then I saw them with the straps and it was like literally an Eevee and a Pikachu Joy-Con and I was like I got to get a set, please. Um Apparently, they're only available separately in Japan through Nintendo's online store, yep. or there was another one. I can't remember. But I was so mad. I was like, I think the oh, they're going to my chance. Pokemon Center. That's what it was. Yeah. I, I yeah. am over the moon. I, I don't. It's not really fun to, to like something that a lot of people don't. You know, like you can't get mm-hmm. in that hype mode that everybody because when I first saw this, I was kind of over the moon. I was like, I have to get one of these. And I started going through all the things in my head of how I have to pull this off because, you know, we can't share accounts and all that. And now we've got the family plans and I've bought stuff digitally. So essentially, here's how this is going to go. I'm going to buy one of this, one of these. It's going to become my switch. My current switch will become the kid's switch. I'll move my stuff over to this one. And then I'm probably going to go back to the 3DS uh days of buying multiple copies of games i can't believe it <laughs> i'm at least getting two copies of pokemon that's and what they want don't you remember they, they they said we want every person in the household to have a switch I'm getting there now i don't think i can buy cart again that was the one i was thinking about because i bought cart digitally and i bought splatoon digitally but i don't think we play them enough that i need to have another copy i think the kids yeah. just won't be able to play them now what this does tell you is from now on I'm going to be buying a lot of my games physical, like physical whenever possible, so we can share. So my digital days are kind of over. And uh, yeah, Rybo, yeah. thanks for dropping by. I am, um, yeah, I have, I still have pneumonia. I'm, I'm making. This is, I'm putting on my happy face. This is my happy yeah. face. <laughs> so anyway, yes, Pokemon. I want all the Pokemon. They showed us a uh, P- Pikachu surfing around the front of the surfboard. He's riding on your shoulder. I'm so excited. Apparently, they just know cut and surf and all this stuff now. Yeah, they've, they've now a special move. They're kind of going that Pokemon Sun route where they're just getting rid of the mm-hmm. HM thing. They're, they're, this is like Pokemon. This is really dummy down Pokemon. But it's yeah. still Pokemon, and I'm excited. The world looks beautiful. The more and more I see of it, the more and oh, more I, I just want to walk around in it. And I mean, Game Explain has a great side by side comparison of Pokemon Yellow. On Game Boy versus Pokemon Let's <laughs> I Go. Did, I did see that after you t- mentioned it. Yeah, because yeah. everybody's like, it's just a remake. And you're like, do you see this? <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's insane. So, uh, yes, all the Pokemons. Coming November 16th, Sid Meier's Civilization VI, which we already talked about a little bit last week. Warframe drops November 20th. I'm looking forward to that one, a free-to-play shooter Destiny thing. NBA 2K Playgrounds comes this fall. That's the NBA Jam game. Playgrounds 2. Yep. And Asmodee G- Digital is bringing tabletop and board games, tabletop and card games to Nintendo Switch. Now, this is this could be interesting because, you know, the, the way that they were selling it in the direct and in the PR announcement, they were like, since Switch already has a tabletop mode, pull out those Joy-Cons, why not turn this into a board game machine? And that's what they're doing. They're bringing Carcassonne, Lord of the Rings, The Living Card Game, Pandemic, Munchkin, and Catan, and they will start coming this December. Um, Hearthstone needs to make it over. Yeah, I'm sure that will. And we have Catan. We've been playing it here at the house, and that was one of the games that I kind of got in with the boards with video game crew. That's cool. One of the Mm -hmm. ones that they always told me to get was Pandemic, and I never did, so I guess I will be. There you go. I'll be getting Pandemic over here on, uh, on the Nintendo Switch. Caroline, coming November 30th, Katamari Damacy Reroll HD Remaster. I can't believe y'all aren't excited about Katamari. I don't know what it is. I've never played it. Oh my gosh, you basically just take, uh, the mission is to take the ball and roll around and literally stack up all the things on the ball. So, I mean, like, anything's fair game. Street lamps. Like, I mean, you can only get small things at first, and then you can go back where you were and roll the ball. So, the goal is to just roll the ball as big as you can with all the stuff in the world. Okay. Um, I saw the trailer, and that looks pretty cool. Um, 
Sean, I don't know if those board games can be played online or not, to be honest with you. Now, um, I mean, this is hashtag Kevin game. Kevin's been talking about Katamari forever. He's going to oh, be Kevin? so excited. Dude, Kevin! Yeah. We got Animal Crossing and Katamari, man! Oh, no, no, yeah, this is his direct. This is, I was, I'm actually really upset he couldn't make it. Um, I know. So it comes, in, it comes to Switch November 30th. Physical version comes later, uh, winter 2018. So probably mm-hmm. December. It's got to be December. I'll get a physical. I'll, I'll wait for the physical. Mm, very cool. So, and, and I know Kevin loves it. So you just roll the ball around and pick up stuff? Oh, dude, just watch some gameplay of it. Like, I mean, it looks great. Having played the original Katamari Damacy on there, uh, like, I mean, I just, it's gotten a really good facelift. Cool. Okay. I, I mean, I'm, you know me, I'm open to anything. I play games I don't, I'm pretty it's sure so I don't even fun. like. You know, like I played Jack, Dead Cells. Jack would love it. Okay. Jack I, would love it. I'm open to anything. I'm, I'm getting Undertale. I'll be playing Undertale. So, I mean, if you yeah. tell me that it's good, I'll, I'll at least try it. Yeah. Just don't be mad if I come back and tell you it's not. And it has a really <laughs> catchy song, too. No, 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 no. Team Sonic Racing comes to Nintendo Switch this winter, which we already knew. I'm, yep. not, I'm upset about Team Sonic Racing. I, I've been saying this since we first, since it was leaked, before E3, since it was shown at E3. By all evidence that I've seen about Team Sonic Racing, there are no more boats or planes. And I love that Team Sonic Racing was kind of like my new Diddy Kong Racing. And mm. the kids and I played a lot of it on Wii U. And now, now they're just back to cars. Now it's just cars. And now I'm like, I, I'm not interested anymore. It just seems not as fun. So, yeah, I'm kind of out. Whatever. Sorry, Sonic. <sighs> Final Fantasy Extravaganza. Oh, my God. So this is going to kind of bridge us from 2018 to 2019. For the first time on a Nintendo platform... These Final Fantasy games are coming. Final Fantasy 15 Pocketed Edition is out right now. It's on sale, just like it was last week, on Xbox and PlayStation for $17.99. World of Final Fantasy Maxima launches November 6th. Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody, hilarious, launches hilarious. this winter. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered 2019, Followed by Final Fantasy 7, 9, 10, and 10 2 HD Remaster, and Final Fantasy 12, The Zodiac Age, all like, coming next year. The fact that 7 through 12, they don't, they're they doing 8, which I think is weird. Um, the fact that those are there is just. I, I kind of. I was like, what? Have you played what? any of these games? I've watched gameplay of 7. And nine and X two, um, but I have not played any of them. The last Final Fantasy games I played were on the Super Nintendo. So when everything started shifting over to PlayStation, is when I stopped. So this is a perfect opportunity for those people that played the original Final Fantasies on a Nintendo console to jump back into the series with the with the old school stuff. I mean, like I, I consider Final Fantasy seven pretty old school now. Okay. So let's start with Final Fantasy VII. That's got Cloud. That's the one everybody's all... This game's out on PlayStation 4. It's coming to the Xbox. Actually, all these games are coming to Xbox. They announced that shortly after the Direct right. as well. Um, the Final Fantasy VII is the HD... If they, that's what they call it. The HD port to PC that was made a few years ago. Um, it's been touched up, but it's still very much like the polygonal... Oh, no. It's the polygonal. Yeah. yeah like, PlayStation 2 stuff. You know, right, it, right. It doesn't look good, and it doesn't... Buy a, oh, I, no. It's a PlayStation 1. Okay. <laughs> And by all accounts, it doesn't run well by friends that I know that have played it or seen it. You know, I don't oh, play okay. Final Fantasy, but the folks that do that I follow, um, it doesn't run well. It's available on mobile. Like, I don't see how anybody's really excited about this, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I if you are, I, by all, I, go. I just am shocked that like you, somebody posted a tweet and said that the creator was probably rolling in his grave seeing that this was happening. <laughs> I mean, it and is I'm like, interesting yeah, to seriously. See Square and Nintendo getting in bed together again. You know, that's that's, oh, yeah. that's good. Um, Anything's up for up in the air right now. I did play Final Super Fantasy X, and uh, I messed around with it on Vita as well. That's one that I might try, but it's also, like, newer, you know, so it's it's easier to go back to. Some of these are really hard Ten's to go back to. the one with, um, what's his name? Uh, Lightning. Blonde-haired kid. Oh, no. Lightning? Really? I thought Lightning was, like, the... I thought it was Lightning. Chat? Pink-haired girl. Um, I don't know. I it's been a long time. I don't know. Ten two is with all of the girls, but no, uh, Titus, 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 and Yuna. 
Is that nine know. or ten? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't see, see, I'm not a Final yeah, Fantasy. Girl. Neither, neither am I. So I mean, let's. I'm not. I can't even speak to it. I just know I. I it came with the, one of the Vitas that I bought, and then I believe it came as a demo, or it came with the PlayStation Two that I got. I remember it playing it in Street Fighter. Had really awesome cutscenes. That's what I remember. Lightning thirteen says lightning is thirteen. Okay, there, so it's thirteen. Yeah, I um, knew she was a lot later. So anyway. Those games are coming. If you're a Final Fantasy fan, you have a lot to be excited about. If you're not, you know, maybe you can get into it. Um, Crystal Chronicles Remastered is kind of neat because that's not really. I mean, it's a Final Fantasy game, but it's more of a spinoff. It's a co-op. It's thing. a spinoff. It was. Um, it was originally released for the Game Boy Advance. I remember when all those um, advanced versions of the original Final Fantasies came out, and then they just threw Crystal Chronicles in there. And uh, I've never played it, but I've heard mixed reviews about it. Moving on to Switch 2019. So there, there oh. it is. That's your that's your lineup for 2018. We know what we're getting. We're getting Mario Party. We're getting Smash. We're getting Pokemon. So, I mean, in any other year, that's a really good year. I think the fact that that's the year following Zelda and Odyssey, some people feel that down. Uh, but, I mean, we're getting new, brand new Smash Brothers, and it's epic, and it's ultimate. You know, like it's yep. everything. So I give them a little slack there. Nintendo Switch 2019 kicks off January 11th with new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. <laughs> Um, I'm, a little let, it. I'm a little let down that it's not 2018. I'm, I'm not going to lie there. Uh, I think like we were talking about, though, they had enough holes to fill, and they needed something in that post-Christmas like yep. uh, Q1 lineup, you know, just to satiate everybody. With Starlink and Katamari and Atlas and all this stuff Smash that's coming and, out. Yeah, yeah like they, I, I understand why, but for me... I would have really enjoyed a Mario game kind of in in between there. Between, you know. Well, plus, I mean, they're, they're actually, like, growing on this game quite a bit with what we saw, like, with sure. Toadette and stuff. So you get you can play with, uh, was it Nabbit? And Nabbit. Toadette. And uh, Toadette Nabbit and doesn't take any damage. Toad. You can just, like, run through it. So if you've got kids, you can let them play as Nabbit. Yeah. And then if you, uh, if you get Toadette and you get the Super Crown, you can turn into Peachette, who can double jump and float. And also can jump if she falls off the level. She gets a little bounce back uh, assist. It comes with Super Luigi U, Caroline, at no extra f- price. But it's still going to be $59.99. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It'll be fifty nine ninety nine. And they made a point to mention that there's be 164 levels to play. Um, new it's Super Mario Bros. U is awesome. I'm excited, hesitant. I want to see improvements. I don't want it to be you? a straight... Port. I want to see some polish. That game was a little. How many edgy. levels were in the first one? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I like 164 is a lot more. I think combining the two together. I think. Oh, if you're combining one. Luigi, yeah, I think, they're, I think they're just counting them both together. Mm, maybe I don't know. It sounded like that they were adding additional levels, but maybe that's just me. Hmm. I I just I remember the first one was a little edgy, like on Wii U. You know, could use yeah, some aliasing. I did too. And I, I'd like it to be a little better improved. It was like one of their first releases it for was. the system, though. And you remember so. they were talking about like how it was just their their foray into HD and all that, and like they kind oh, of yeah. used that. Yeah, I want them to really kind of clean it up a bit. Not it doesn't have yeah. to be drastic, but let, let's sharpen it up a little. Mm-hmm. Yoshi's Crafted World was shown, and it's coming to Nintendo Switch Spring 2019. So and, precious. Uh, it's got some cool foreground background stuff where you can flip the level and you're shooting foreground background kind of reminded me a little little, little big planet which kind of yeah. is in that yoshi uh flow and i'm just so excited to see yoshi um me too. I mean, as i mentioned on stream I, I i am in the mood for just like a chill platformer like just sit down and enjoy a good cute time throw mm-hmm. in my little yarn balls you know Looking crafted paper secrets. yeah that's no yarn stuff. balls now. There's just there's just the yeah, eggs he's again. Throwing. Yeah, <laughs> he's made of like felt this time around. It's so cute. Uh, I love that we're able to go backwards. Yeah, turn everything around Flip and it's it like and a oh my gosh, crazy. That's awesome because there's so many secrets that I've missed and I have to just replay the level. You know, mm-hmm. should be fun great. to do that. Yep, and just get great. all the hidden stuff. That's going to be great. And uh, yeah, kicking off switches 2019 probably. That'll probably be, you know, one of the first big, big releases. Probably February or March. I say March. Sounds about right. Town, a new RPG series (laughs) coming to Nintendo Switch from Game Freak. Yes, Game Freak. Those are the people that make Pokemon coming to Nintendo Switch in 2019. Now, uh, it's just an RPG game. Monsters come to the village. You recruit villagers, turn-based. You know, looks like there's like a... 
from what I saw on a recap video that I watched, it does look like there's like some typing, you know, abilities, strengths and weaknesses there. I got to tell you, this game looked like a level five game. That's what I was thinking. I was originally saying, thinking it was Atlas. And when they showed Game Freak, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Yeah, the art style is very like Layton ish, like dark cloud ish, like right. Enigma. Yeah, right. Yeah. But then as soon as they say Game Freak, I'm like, this looks like it's in the same engine as the Pokemon Let's Go stuff. Like I could see could those be. models seem very similar. Could be. Um, maybe with just like a stylistic element on top of it, like the, the drawing on top. But. I want to see more of this game. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know, you, you saw me being like, oh, my God, it's an RPG. Oh, my God, it's <laughs> Game Freak. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what they do. I feel like they have a, a big weight over their heads that, you know, it's just like, okay, you guys, you're the Pokemon creators. This better be good. Um, I mean, I got to we'll admit, see. that was my first when I when they flash Game Freak across the screen. I, like, I'm, I'm one, I'm excited because I love Pokemon. Game Freak has made it so many Pokemons that I have expectations for them. I expect them to be good. And I expect right. this game will be good. Um, this game it was a pleasant surprise for me, one of the highlights. And mm-hmm. uh, will definitely become something that I keep my eye out for. I- I'm not the RPG sorceress that you are. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, when they flash Game Freak across the stage, I was like, oh, now I need to start paying attention. You know, they kind of mm-hmm. have that clout for me. So I'm excited. Now it's for real. We saw more Damon X Machina. It was just more mechs, you know, blowing up other mechs. I'm excited for that. Yep. 2019. The Direct kicked off with an important announcement. Luigi's Mansion 3, working title, coming to Nintendo Switch in 2019. I called it, didn't I? You called it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Before we just start going into this, I called it, I called it, I called it stuff. Caroline, let me remind you. If you say <laughs> Animal Crossing or Luigi's Mansion enough, eventually you'll be right. History I has know, proven that I over know. and over again. But, but let me let me let me let me go back on this, okay? So I said Luigi's Mansion Three is a possibility soon. Number one, because we saw something spooky, him walking around with a new poltergust in the Simon Belmont reveal. And then why else would you be th- porting the original game to 3DS? Number one, aside from you know just breathing more life into the 3DS, if you weren't hyping it for something you know sure. no um, with with luigi i give you I, in all seriousness with luigi i give you way more kudos than animal crossing i feel like you and kevin just say animal crossing every time nintendo speaks <laughs> eventually you're going to be right because they just make them we know that we'll see once animal crossing comes out then i'll be back on the zelda you just said so just just like, from now zelda, on i'm just gonna zelda. start saying zelda every time until until i'm right but yeah. um yeah so luigi's mansion coming to switch so we have luigi's mansion remake on 3ds Luigi's Mansion 3 coming to Switch. That's mm-hmm. very exciting. Next year. We're going to yeah. get a little bit into 2019, but it's very, very exciting. Then we l- turn our attention towards Isabel makes an appearance. She starts walking around the office, starts doing some stuff, and it flips Isabel in Smash. Here comes Izzy, playable character, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Some one of us talked about this. I don't remember if it was both of us or somebody, but one of us in Shaq, when we were doing our announcements or predictions we said isabel it's about time i'm very excited that isabel's coming but in the perfect swerve because everybody thought it was oh my god it's nintendo it's nintendo switch animal crossing it's nintendo switch animal crossing but it wasn't it was just the smash character as caroline just leaves me here hanging um everybody thought it was i thought it was a new animal crossing but it wasn't it was isabel the smash character and she does all the cool animal crossing stuff and then you know, just wait, wait till the very end. Tom Nook sitting at his computer, turns a little light on, talks about how everybody's exhausted. New Animal Crossing, mainline series coming to Nintendo Switch, 2019. Caroline, the cat is out of the bag. We all knew it was coming. It's been time. We've known this, but now you know. There's a difference between knowing it's time and knowing. I have no, I have no sound. I can't hear you. We can't hear you at all. <laughs> Sorry. I muted myself originally because the cat was messing with something and I had to scold her. But what are you talking about? We knew it was coming. When you were like, it's not literally, we were pre game mm-hmm. waiting for the direct to start. And, and you're like, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You know, I just, I didn't think, in all seriousness, I just, I thought that they would save the reveal. For Animal Crossing for a bigger stage. I really did. No, in, in all seriousness, I just... I think there were so many unanswered questions about E3. 
I still kind of feel like maybe they should have too. Because like this direct, while we all get excited about it, this direct won't have the headlines and the waves that a video game awards in E3 would. And, you know, they didn't show us the game. So there's still time for that. If now, like I said, what they're doing now probably is they're priming you for that next event. Um, but I mm-hmm. think it's going to be before E3 because E3 is a long time from now. You know, like they've got the VGAs and they've got, they'll have another spring direct and then they get to E3. Like there's still a long way. So I don't we know. Have, we have January and April direct, so I'm not concerned. I don't um, think it has, I don't think it's any harm in letting people know that it's coming. Hey, it's, it's coming. It's on the way. You know, yeah. it just kind of puts everybody at ease. You know, like you don't have to keep asking about it. You don't have to keep whining about it. It's not coming 2020. It's coming next year. 2019. We have some good questions about 2019. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's, it's awesome because Animal Crossing is it. Now, I'm not the Animal Crossing fan that you or Kevin is. I can't even claim that. But um, the only real Animal Crossing game that I've really played is New Leaf. I played the GameCube one and I played the Wii one, but I never played one until New Leaf. New Leaf I probably sank about 70 hours into, which is a lot for me. Oh. 70. I know. I know. I'm not here to compare Nintendo wings, okay, Caroline? So, so uh, <laughs> Animal Crossing wings. Um, like, this is such a... This series is, I've been with since the beginning, you know. It was one of the games that I picked up from Blockbuster one day and rented it, and I just... I, I needed it, so we got it, and I've kept up with the series ever since. Um, I can't tell you how many hours I sunk in a new leaf... I mean, like, it's just... I started just collecting all the furniture because I was bored. I had done everything. Um, no, I, 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 I gotta wait. admit, I think now, and you Animal Crossing fans probably might push back a little bit on this, I think now Animal Crossing is a big hitter for Nintendo. And I think New, oh, I think New Leaf made it that. I don't think it was... Absolutely. It wasn't I will that say, before New Leaf, but New Leaf was I will say... My favorite game now is New Leaf. Before then, it was the original game. I was not... I like Wild World was cool for what it was. City Folk was just expounding on Wild World, yeah. and it wasn't really anything new. But New, new Leaf completely redid the formula almost. I think the um, portability, the connectivity, really opens mm-hmm. up Animal Crossing to something it never was before. And I think the expectations right. are high for Animal Crossing right. Switch. And... I mean, I, I expect them to come through, but it'll be interesting because there'll be a lot of people that are going to, you know, you're going to want some online multiplayer, visit each other's towns, you exchange oh, stuff, swap stuff. I, it'll happen. Yeah, Don't worry. Yeah. And all the, all this Pokemon stuff about cloud saves and everything, I expect all that to come back up. Like, all uh-huh. that's going to happen, but um, this is this is big. So let's let's get into, uh, uh, let's run this down. Total Direct was 38 minutes. There was four 3DS games or over 30 Nintendo Switch games, and that's not counting, like, collections multiple times or the NES games. I didn't count them all. There's too many. So in 38 right. minutes, we probably saw over 50 games. So a game a minute. Switch has no games. It's insane. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Surge asks, or he says, I wish I could join y'all to talk about how hype I am for this Direct. It was amazing <sighs> in terms of games that I will play. Give me your two high points and your low point of the Direct. You guys will laugh, okay? High point, seeing Isabel for the first time. Low point? Realizing that it was just a smash teaser. <laughs> High point number two. So that's the third one. Getting Animal Crossing. Hmm. For real. So that's my high, low, high. My low point was probably that little bit leading up to and then the Switch Online announcement. Like they just kind of went through some games, you know. They were like, you know, there were games in here we didn't talk about. Like they showed FIFA, they showed NBA, they showed Just Dance. You know, they were just kind of showing some stuff, and then they were like, here's the Switch Online, and I was expecting to see something, and it was cute. It's almost like they covered up the lack of something to say with, like, this really cute, you know, like, Luigi lost his cloud save, and Bowser playing with the Joy-Con. Oh, yeah. Like, those were cute. Those were really cute. But I was I was here for substance, because we've been, they've been pushing this off, and they've delayed it twice, and they've kept referring to it, they've been tweeting about it. I was expecting, like, a lot, and it was just like, you get some NES games, and you can use the smartphone app, and uh, some other stuff that we'll tell you later. And I was like, I thought today was the later. I'm tired of waiting later. I thought today we would know. So that was kind of my low point. My high points, definitely, I mean, it's going to be hard to not say anything about Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing was the highlight of this Direct. In a lot of ways, I think Animal Crossing saved this Direct. Without Animal Crossing, I I agree. I would have been a little salty on this Direct overall. um, Do you think if they saved Luigi's Mansion 3 for the end, would you think it would have been saved or no? I think they opened strong and they ended strong and everything else was just like filler. I, 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 I... 
I think this Direct was really good for people that are looking to buy a Switch and not nearly as good for people that already own one. Because uh-huh. a lot of this Direct, all of the fun parts are later. They're all down the road. Um, right. You know, I was ex- really expecting like a surprise to come this fall, like Mario. And I know it's not like November to January isn't like the longest wait, but I just feel I see it in the tweets that I read and all the things like I feel people that are like getting a little like, man, I wish I had something to play on my switch. Yeah. And, you know, especially like Wii U owners, especially them, because they're like, I kind of played a lot of this stuff already. Um, yeah. And I was expecting them to kind of fill in there and, and they're not. Um, so, but like I said, there's third parties there that are doing it. I just wonder how much of those, you know, cause then there's other people with other consoles and they're like, I already played Diablo. So I, right. I feel it. I feel it. I understand the, the, the vitriol there. Um, but without Animal Crossing, this direct has no like pop. Like mm-hmm. Luigi's Mansion is cool, but it's not pop. Animal right. Crossing pop. Animal Crossing headline. That's, you know, front story, you know, front page story, IGN, GameSpot, like all the podcasts are going to talk about it. So, yep. yeah, without that, I think that's why it's in here, too. James writes, can Switches 2019 beat Switches 2017? I love this question. So <sighs> let's, let's, let's go back. Yoshi, Damon X Machina, Luigi's Mansion 3, Animal Fire Crossing, Emblem. Fire Emblem Three Houses, and a mainline Pokemon game. And whatever this town game oh, is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the mainline Pokemon game. Plus, and- maybe... A Bayonetta or a Metroid, maybe. Yeah, I think Bayo Three is coming before Metroid. I think Metroid is early twenty twenty. I don't think there's any way they launch Metroid outside of the holiday window. I don't think Metroid's powerful enough for holiday release. Mm. I think Metroid Prime is. I don't think Metroid is, but I think Metroid Prime is. Catch my drift. Yeah. If they come out with big Halo shootery Metroid, Jeez. then yes. Yeah. Um. What but did we have me. in 2017, though? We had Zelda, Zelda Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, Mario Odyssey, Kart 8, Splatoon 2, Splatoon 2, Xenoblade. Mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. James, you can ask me that on December 31st of it's next year. That's a really year. good question, isn't it? You see, you think about yeah. it, you, get a, you have Mario U, and we're assuming they all come here. Now, I wonder, like, do you think Game Freak drops Towns and a mainline Pokemon? I'm wondering, like, could mainline Pokemon mm-hmm. not be 2019? That no, just it is. It, thing? No, it has to be. Because if if, if all if that's 2019, so if we go Damon X Machina, Yoshi, Luigi's Mansion 3, Animal I Crossing, think... mainline Pokemon game, Fire Emblem, I am stoked. Like that's that I'm so yeah, happy for that year. <laughs> like I'm so happy for that year. I'll be My playing wallet nothing but is Switch. not going to be getting any fuller anytime soon. You think Fire Emblem um, will come out over summer? Maybe, yeah. maybe. I was honestly hope like I love that New Leaf was released in the middle of the summer because it's like the perfect time in Animal Crossing because you reap all the rewards from the yeah, bugs I'm and stuff and all that. I think I think but I think Animal Crossing I, should drop like August so you can play through the fall and the winter. That would be that would be great. Um, yeah. But I seriously doubt it. I think it'll probably release in in. Fall before Christmas. Okay. Yeah, I agree. That's I agree. Um, that's nuts. I think if, if that holds true, if we get Animal Crossing, if Animal Crossing is done well, like connectivity, HD, all that, Animal Crossing could be better than Zelda. Not like not like objectively like better game, but I mean like more successful, more played, like longer lasting. Think about how long people played New Leaf. People played New Leaf for years. Oh yeah, you know? I played it. I played it for at least two or three years. So it could be like a um, big draw. Like people could just play New Leaf for for like indefinitely, <laughs> like just a long time. Yeah. And if you throw a Fire Emblem there and a Luigi and and uh, like a Bayo, like damn, that's a lot of game. Yeah, that's in, that's insane. Um, I don't know, dude. What I want to say that, like, having... do if they release a special edition Animal Crossing Switch. Now you know that's happening. There's not a, there's, you book this right now. There's no way in hell Nintendo doesn't Animal Crossing a Switch when that game comes. They didn't Zelda one when they originally released Switch. It's different though. They were launching a system. You can't be doing special editions when you're just trying to get boxes on shelves. This is three years later, you know, like they've got time to prime the engine. Like there's no way, at the very least, it'll have its own special Joy-Cons. But the way that they're doing Smash, the way that they're doing Pokemon, I expect that to continue. There'll be another Pokemon next year. There'll be an Animal Crossing one. The interesting thing will will there be a Fire Emblem one? 
That's an no, interesting one. I don't think so I doubt either. it. But they have done Fire Emblem 3DSs. They have. But that's because like Fire Emblem, I think they were trying to juice up Fire Emblem because if you remember, it was before on the Awakening, for a while. yeah, I know. It, before Awakening, it was dead in the water pretty much. I'm hoping with me getting the Pokemon bundle, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little scared because I'm buying the first one that came open. And I'm I'm yeah. scared, you know, I'm like, oh, what if they release another one that I like more? I don't want to get into that 3DS thing where I'm That's hopping system to system. That's just it. I, there's so many good 3DS ones that I just, I, I, I couldn't be tempted with them, you know? Like the Hylian Shield was the magnum opus. I was like, yeah, I got to yeah, get that it. One, yeah, that one, yeah. Period. Yeah. <laughs> it's sitting on my shelf. That's it. Um, God, dude, don't do this to my me. My thing was like, what if they, they, they probably have like some sort of pocket camp tie-in? I'd imagine, like I would expect, like Pokemon Let's Go. I'm trying to think. Um, uh, I don't think Pocket Camp has been as successful as Go. Sure. sure. And that way it wouldn't be a I still true... still think they'll, they'll share something. You'd be able to pass it. I, they, they probably will. Like, you'll yeah. probably get your own camper to go... Something. Something. They're going to they're try to make you, you know... They're still they're putting Splatoon stuff in Pocket Camp. Like, they're going to try to get you in there. Right. Um, I don't know, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. What would you like? Uh, you know what? We'll save it because I got a question for this next week and we're almost out of time anyway, so I'll just save it. We had, we had a really good questions before until the direct drop. But uh, yeah, I mean, a special edition Switch design that would be a no-brainer purchase. What would be... Can you imagine like perfect green, like just, just a nice solid green, not like my neon green with the leaves on them, like for the Joy-Cons. Yeah, yes. that'd be good. That'd be good. I don't know about Smash. Um, a sma- a no-brain Smash Switch. I mean, honestly, I was thinking just very minimal. I thought they would go white Joy-Cons with a black Smash symbol and maybe like a backplate with a swoosh or something like sure. that. Sure. Like that would have made sense to me. I, I, why they went all gray is a little... Like I, I'm all into my Pokemon one. I mean, obviously that's why I'm buying it. I think it's very like autumnal. Like it's very fall. It's like pumpkin mm. spice. I love it. I think it's. I think it's adorable. Like I, I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm actually kind of shocked that everybody hates it. I was looking at Twitter. I was like, "Wow, no, nobody likes first, this thing." At first, I was looking like at the. The only thing that threw me off in the beginning was like the brown to the yellow. I was like, if the brown were just a little darker, and then I saw them next to each other with those with, with those straps, yeah. and then they're perfect. Yeah, they're really nice. They're really nice, and people people don't like this. I remember we were. I remember almost having a similar conversation when the Switch launched. People don't like the different colors. People like matching colors. Like people don't like the lack of symmetry. I think there's well, a lot of people I, out there that I, you know. There are people that I didn't got like the neon. Two different pink and blues. So you know, they're like, give me the gray. You know, you can't want... please everybody. Yeah, you're right. So anyway, that's today. Today's Nintendo Switch Direct or yeah, Nintendo Direct, September thirteenth, twenty eighteen. Caroline and Donnie recapping all of it. Caroline, overall thoughts? Um, I'm excited beyond belief. I just wanted an acknowledgement, you know. I just yeah. wanted, I just wanted to see some teaser, and we got the teaser. I remember and chasing I, those Breath I, of the Wild stuff. Hopefully, you're oh not waiting God. for five years. <laughs> no, they they said 2019 at the latest. We should be waiting until 2020. Yeah, yeah. It's I've Animal Crossing, though. They've got the they've got everything ready to go. They've been working on this game for a long time. I oh, believe. Yeah. I I've said I, this I before. Think they were even gonna. I believe Nintendo yeah. is always working on a Mario game. They're always working on a Nintendo game, and I believe they always have stuff in the works for. They were going to do it for Wii U, probably. Maybe. I mean, they had that War War Plaza that they did, and all that. So, we're losing Caroline's connection here. Yep, she's still frozen. So anyway, um, I guess I'll sign us off. My name is Donnie Reese. You can find me on Twitter at Play Nintendo. You can follow Caroline on Twitter at the Nintendo. You can catch out her streaming daily at twitch.tv slash the Nintendo. Uh, if you enjoy the show and uh, you're a big Nintendo Shack fan, remember you can become a patron of ours over I'm there at patreon.com slash make us better, where we launched a new tier this week that if we can get uh, the goal of the monthly Patreon to $400 a month, we're only like $40 away. 
that PSVG will split all of their shows into separate feeds. So you can find and search and follow just the Nintendo Shack or Board with Video Games or PSVG Prime or PSVG OT. We're very excited about this goal. So if you're if you're interested in that, and if that's something you you'd like to do, if you'd like to see all of our shows go off on their own and, and find their own way, um, please consider giving us the support over there. And uh, check us out, psvg.blog. Click the Discord link in the top menu and uh, come join <laughs> us in the Discord where Caroline waxes poetic about Animal Crossing in all yeah. caps. And uh, I un- unveil all the news early as I log all of the <laughs> all of the leaks and releases as they pop through Twitter. So uh, yep. that's it for us, Koopalings. Uh Caroline, any last words? Um, nope. That's Just, it. Yeah. It was, a, it was a great day for... It was a great direct day. You sound pooped. Animal Crossing, Caroline. I am exhausted. Give if him you guys a squeal. See- you were so excited. You're like, rrr, I, rrr, I'm not going to do that. If you guys want to see my reaction, though, go <laughs> on to my YouTube channel. And I tweeted it out, too. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was my husband being like, oh, God, I married this. Why? There's a lot of people that were doing that. And, you know, I, hey, I get it. I mean, they got me with Smash. I, with the Smash, I just didn't see it coming. So it got me by surprise. Mm-hmm. You know, I... I it's different when the when the reaction is genuine and your reaction was genuine. I like those. It's a little bit yeah. different when like when it's forced and you can see those sometimes on YouTube when you just get yeah. when people lose it for everything. Mm-hmm. It's okay to lose it for Animal Crossing. It's been six years. You know, like it's, it's been a long time. I, I think you I should... kinda popped when they when they did like the camp add on to New Leaf. I was like, What? <laughs> that like completely yeah. threw me by a surprise. So yeah, I mean it's yeah. okay. It's okay, get excited. Get hyped. You should have um you should have known me when Breath of the Wild was first teased back in 2015 or 2014 or whatever it was. So long. You want to talk about losing your mind? <laughs> we waited for that game for so it was worth it, but still. Forever. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Remember, the Nintendo Shack catches live every week twitch. twitch.tv/psvg every Thursday night. Thank you and good night, Kooplings. Whenever you're ready. All right. This is Frederick from Fire Emblem Awakening. And I forgot the line already. What?